Hi, my name is Robin Dorbel, Senior Account Manager with Ringy CRM. Thank you for the opportunity today to allow me to demonstrate our software of Ringy CRM. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on the main key features uh, of the software in terms of how you could use it for prospecting, the automation, no matter what industry you're in, we typically cover majority of them, life insurance, health insurance, annuities. So let's get started here. I'm going to go into the sign-in screen and get going. All right, so this is the login page. This is where you go ahead and put in the email that you registered with and the password, and then we'll go ahead and sign in and get started. So this is the dashboard. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to focus on these four core areas. That's your dashboard, your leads, your inbox, and sales pipeline, okay? The dashboard gives you a live update of what's happening in your account throughout your day. The leads is where you'll be storing all of your uh, contacts as far as your prospect and clients. Inbox is where you'll be communicating with the leads uh, as far as text messaging. And then the sales pipeline is where you do your progressive dialing, where you're calling your leads back to back, okay? But before I get started with this four core areas, I wanna focus on the area here where we're really known for, and that's the marketing, okay? So this is where the automation happens. This is where you're able to get first contact to your lead. So let's start with the SMS. Now there's three ways to get leads in our system. You can create it manually one at a time. You can upload a spreadsheet, or it can come directly from a lead vendor, all right? Now, when a lead comes in our system, they receive an initial text message and an initial email right away. Now, where this helps you is typically when a person goes online, they fill out a form to get a quote. Now, most people assume that they're going to get that quote right away. But what typically happens is that gets funneled to a lead vendor and the lead vendor send it to you. And then that client is aware that an agent should be reaching out to them. So sometimes folks are in front of their computers waiting for someone to call them. So this is where you have the advantage of the initial text message going out right away to them, just in case if you're busy with another client or, um, or you're away from your computer. Now, the initial text that go out, now I have four different initial messages here. The reason why we have four is depending on the volume of leads you're receiving, you don't want the exact same message to go out to these leads over and over and over. T-Mobile, Verizon, the carriers, they start to recognize that then you start to get uh, blocked as a robocaller or spammer, okay? So lead one would get this message, lead two would get this message. So it goes in cycle in a round robin fashion. So that'll help you with your delivery rate and your response rate as well, okay? So initial text goes out, then we have an initial email that goes out and then you'll get the alert letting you know that there's a lead awaiting a call for the quote, okay? Now, let's say text message goes out, email goes out, you make a phone call, a few phone calls, and nothing happens. Well, this is where the software now takes over with drip marketing. Now with the drip marketing, this is where you have your follow-up drips. The software can now follow up on your behalf for up to 120 days and as early as 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. based on your time zone. Now what we do, because the sales cycle of insurance is so short, we try to write templates for you that are within a three week to 30 day time frame. Now, depending on your business, you may be doing life insurance only. You may be doing life and health, final expense, mortgage protection. We already have uh, templates for all the different industries. And if we don't, then you can get on with one of our onboarding teams and we'll provide you with a template that we have per your industry. Now, if you look here, I have, uh, this is the message that would go out. So it says one day ago at 1 p.m. So notice in here, you have keywords. Uh, what basically does it address the leads by their first name addresses you and your company name. So this keeps you compliant per the new A2P 10 DLC law. And it also, once again, this helps your delivery rate to continue to go out to those leads, okay? So you'll see one day ago all the way to 21 days. So we keep it within a short time frame because of the sales cycle. We'll try different times of the day and then we have different variety of messages, okay? Now, if you are in a in different industry or if you're working a different type of lead, if you notice here under disposition, this is blank. It's basically sending a message directly to folks for life insurance in general. But if you wanted messages to specifically go to folks for final expense, then when those leads are tagged as final expense, you're going to get messages specifically for final expense coverage. Same thing for mortgage protection, same thing for Medicare, ACA, whatever campaigns you're running, we're able to build those templates in here for you. Okay. Then you have the email, same thing. Now with email, instead of being limited to 120 days, you can actually go year round with email. So these are the marketing automation channels that you would have here. And this is what's going to help you not only 
reach out to your leads pretty fast, but keep you very efficient uh, where no lead is left behind, okay? So that's basically like hiring a virtual assistant to do the work for you, okay? So that's our marketing. Now let's go back to the four core areas and that's the dashboard, the leads, inbox, and sales pipeline. Now on the dashboard, if you look here, it says leads today. So this shows how many leads you received in the software for today, whether it's like I mentioned, uploading a spreadsheet or coming from a lead vendor. New text message, if there's a number here, you go to the inbox, you'll see your responses. And then this is self-explanatory, just shows you your outbound and your inbound calls. Now, this part is very important, except this is dictates how you receive your inbound calls, all right? Now, if I want calls to come in directly into the software online, this is where I would leave this on. So they're calling me. Now, here's an example. I'm actually going to call in one of my Ringy numbers and it'll see what it looks like on the screen. So if I have accept calls in Ringy, it'll show up like that and you'll see the lead set, okay? But I'll send it to voicemail. When that happens, you can also transfer it to another agent or you can even conference someone else in if you need to, all right? So that's accepting calls. But what most agents do, they forward it to the mobile app. And the mobile app basically gives you a lot of the same features that we're going to go over today. It's basically like a CRM on the go. And the reason why they have it forwarded to the mobile app is because, once again, some people are field agents. They're out and about. Uh, you may take a lunch break or you may not be in front of your computer. So if someone does call you back, you're not going to miss that call. Or if someone responds to a text message, you'll be in position to respond to those text messages as well. So that's the power of having it forwarded to the mobile app. You can also forward it to a different phone number send to voicemail or reject all inbound. But what most agents do is forward it to the mobile app, okay? Now this section here basically gives you uh, the option of what alerts you wanna have turned on. So you can turn on the SMS alerts, the call alerts and the lead alerts. So that way you're always aware of what's happening in the software remotely. And then master switch, the only reason you would turn this off is if you went on vacation um, or if you just wanted to pause the system completely. All right, so this is usually on because what it does, it completely stops all the automation, all right? Now, the phone system, this is very important. So this is the voice over IP that's automatically attached to our account. You don't need an extra extension or anything. And if you notice here, we have this feature, the smart local ID. Now, some agents are only working one state, some agents are working several states. What this does, we give you the opportunity to purchase a phone number for each state you do business in, or you may purchase several phone number in one state if you want to target different area codes. So what the software does is when a lead comes in our system, it automatically recognizes the area code and it'll sign that number for that particular state or area code. And then what it does is it'll send a local text message or when you make that call, they see a local number. And where this, what this does is also helps you stay compliant with the carriers because they prefer to see a local number reaching out to a lead versus an out-of-state number which increases your chance of showing up as spam risk or spam likely, okay? Call recording, you can turn this on in the beginning of the day, you can turn this on in the middle of a call, or you can have it turned on permanently. Agent coaching, very, very popular feature. So if you're building a team, your agents would be using the software as well so they can get attached to you where you're the admin. The agents turn this on, you as the admin can come in to join the call. You'll be able to assist the agent with the sell. The agent will be able to hear you, not the client, okay? Now you have send text message. Same thing applies with smart local ID, but I'll go more into text messages once I get inside of a lead. And then here's your voicemail box. So that way you'll have a recorded greeting here. When someone's calling you, they're not hearing your personal voicemail, they hear the voicemail that's in ringy. Now, my favorite part of the software is the appointments. The reason why I like this, we provide you a booking page that looks like this. You have your own unique link. You can add your photo, your logo. And what's great about this is you have that link in your marketing material, or you can provide it to your clients. And as the messages go out, clients can have access to this page. They come in, choose a time that works for them. They put in their basic information. And once that's submitted, it shows up on your dashboard like this. And then they get a confirmation email. And then there's a reminder text that goes out within the hour of the appointment. Okay. And what's great about this as well, we do sync with Google. So if you had an appointment, let's say at 1130 on Monday, a doctor's appointment on your Google calendar, our software is going to recognize that and block out this time to avoid any double bookings, okay? So it's a very, very powerful feature. It's another area where you could leverage the automation to get more appointments and close more leads, okay? Now, lead follow-ups, this is where if once you're inside of a lead, you set up a follow-up on a specific day, it'll show up here. So it's basically like a task reminder for you. Now, verification call, this is more for underwritten products. We'll go more into that 
in a training section. And in video meetings, I'll go more into this as well inside of a lead profile for folks that are doing video meetings with their clients. Now the agent summary, pretty simple in the agent summary. Once again, if you have any agents under you, you'll see their basic information here. When their subscription expires, they have an account balance, any lead pending, any carrier violations. But most importantly, if they turn on an agent coaching, this is the join call button where they can join in, where you can assist them with the sale as the whisper feature, okay? Another important feature, turnover rate. Some of you are working booths. Some folks are working getting referrals only. Some folks are working with different lead vendors. Any lead source that you have, once you bring that in the system, it's going to be labeled. And when you mark the lead as sold, our software is going to help you keep track of your conversion rate. So this is defaulted by the week. But if you really want to get a bird's eye view of how you're closing your leads, you can go back a few months and this will let you know what's happening in your system. OK, so you can track your KPIs and then understand um, how to fund your business or what efforts you should take with your lead vendors moving forward. Call history is simple. This is basically like your call ID on the phone. So you'll see your inbound and outbound calls. Now, if I had any recordings turned on as well, I can listen to the recordings here. All right. So that's the basics of the dashboard. Once again, it just gives you a live update of what's happening in your account. Uh, let's go right into the leads. This is where you're going to spend a lot of your time. And we don't only focus on prospecting. We do focus on keeping track of your database. So this is where the CRM aspect comes in, because now you have this different filtering uh, system here in order to manage your leads. OK, so you can filter your leads by date or time frame. Here's where you can filter by lead vendor, state, time zone. And you can also show certain leads. So for example, if you only want to see leads that are not sold, then it'll pull up that list of leads that are not sold, right? Gives you the option to see leads that have notes. You can also see, this is very important for Medicare, see leads with a birthday today or specific date or date range. So if you're doing under turning 65, this is something where you could track those leads. And also if you're doing any local farming where you do door to door, you can now put a zip code in here and say you want to see a 10 mile radius of a specific zip code. Any leads you have in that uh, particular category will show up on this list where you could probably start setting appointments. Another great feature is tags. We give you the opportunity to create your own tags that you can dis disposition the leads. So what this does, it gives you the opportunity to uniquely uh, filter your leads. And if you ever want to work, for example, if I only want to work the leads that I left the voicemail on, I'll click on left voicemail and that's the list that would show up. Now, what, what's powerful about this is you're able to not only be efficient with your lead, but this gives you the opportunity to cross promote uh, other products if you have in your business as well. You can also search a lead by name, phone number, or email. So if I wanted to type in, uh, obviously I have a lot of Janes in here, but if I type in Jane, any lead with the name Jane is gonna pop up here, okay? Now, you might ask yourself, why do I have so many different colors? Well, the reason why is as you create these tags, you can associate a color with them. Uh, so what this does for folks visually, instead of reading the tag, some of these leads have several tags on them. So instead of reading the tag, just looking at the color, you know what stage the lead is in. So by me looking at this, I know that the last tag I used was missed appointment. If I remove that tag, notice the color goes away. All right. So visually, you can see what stage your leads are in. So you don't necessarily have to read the tags that's there. So that's the filtering system. This is where you would create the lead. Here's where you would upload the spreadsheet. And then here is where you would generate a spreadsheet. Or in this case, this is a demo account, it's not showing, but if you wanted to generate a spreadsheet, CSV file with your leads, you can do that as well, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go inside of a lead. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna click on the phone number, it takes me inside of the lead. And this is where I see the basic information. If I wanted to put a quote here for reference, I'll have that there. And then this drop down gives me the opportunity to block a lead, market is sold, um, I could skip all the drips from here. I could schedule a follow-up where to show up as a task on my dashboard the day of. And then once again, if you want to add a lead in the birthday text campaign, so it'll show this little birthday icon. So every year on June 18th, this person is going to receive a text message from me uh, wishing them happy birthday. You can also do find more phone numbers, which takes you to fast people search. And then you can also do a free uh, Google search as well. All right. Now the notes section, this is where you'll jot down your notes. You can see it in scroll view, or you can drag it open and see the notes there. And then there's another area you can track your notes. It's in this section under activity log. You can see your notes there as well, okay? Now, click the call is where you will call your lead. Now, notice here there's 43. That basically means that this lead was called 43 times. So if I click the call again, really quick, 
mm -hmm. and hang up, it shows that the lead is called 44 times now. All right, so that'll help you keep track of that. And once again, as you start working your leads, you'll have your different tags. Now we will provide you some basic tags based on your industry, but this is where you could come in and add a tag that's unique to you to help keep you organized with your leads. Now, when you bring the leads in a system, we have the default fields like first name, last name, phone number, address, but there's some custom fields that comes in from your lead vendor, such as county, height, weight, smoker, et cetera. This is where you'll see that information. So you can add as many custom fields as you'd like as well, okay? Um, so we have the activity log that shows you all of the activity that's happened. It's all time stamped in the software. Call history, the lead will call us 43 times. It shows all 43 calls here. If I had a recording, the recording would show up here as well. Then you have the calendar events. Any upcoming appointments will show up here or past appointments will be here as well. And in video meeting, very, very, very popular. What's great about the video meeting is it's pretty much the same basic um, features of Zoom, where I know in Zoom, if you wanted to go uh, past 45 minutes, you would need a premium account. Well, with this software, you can actually go up to three hours. And this is a free feature to you, so you don't have to worry about that. And it can get synced to your calendar as well. But the best part about this, it's all web-based. So if I created a meeting now, what it does, it generates a link I copy that link, I can send that link to the client via text or email. And if I send it to them via text, they click on that link, I hit join call, then we're getting on a screen share, I mean, a video meeting right then and there, okay? So where this is great is, especially for the older demographics, they don't have to download an app software, they don't have to worry about uh, audio connection issues. They simply click on that link and you're doing your screen shares, your video meeting or a screen share. They can share their screen, you can share your screen, okay? SMS history. This is where you could, uh, this is where you would communicate with the lead. Obviously, this is a bad lead. So you'll see the history here. Okay. And then if you have, we do provide you some basic templates. This is a very popular one uh, for mortgage protection or final expense. So some folks, what they do, they uh, uh, have the form that the client filled out. So they may use a template like this. And this is where we give you the opportunity to upload an image. So you can send a message like this, you'll upload the form that the client filled out, uh, which gives you credibility because they see their handwriting. And then that way you either do it from your mobile phone or from here and then move forward with that, okay? Now send email, this is where you would compose it. You can compose an email from scratch or you can use templates as well. And then we have documents. You can upload documents from the computer or the mobile app. The great thing about this, there's no storage limit when it comes to documents. So you can upload as many documents as you'd like. Same thing with uh, contacts. You can have unlimited contacts in here. We don't upcharge you once you get to a certain threshold. All right. So that's the, the leads um, profile and the leads tab. I really wanted to go through this uh, thoroughly so you guys can understand how that would work in your business. Okay. Now, the last two parts here, we have the inbox. It's where you see your responses from your leads. And then if you have, you can see the colors and the tags here as well. Now, we do have the opt-out language that goes out on the first message when you're reaching out to a prospect. So depending on the lead's response, uh, maybe stop, cancel, unsubscribe, et cetera, the software is going to recognize that and automatically block them for you. So that's going to be helpful for you so you don't have any litigation issues if a person wants to be on a do not call list or if you may miss it, right? Uh, but maybe the software may miss a response. Here's where you can block a text message. You can delete it. Or if you wanna sign a new disposition tag, you can do that as well from here. And all you simply do is just click on the response, takes you inside of the lead profile. You look at the history. And then once you respond, you can go back and respond to other folks, okay? You can view your rejected text messages, which most likely would be probably because it's a landline or a bad number. You could view your sent text messages, which basically lets you know if your messages were delivered, if you had a carrier violation, it gives you that. And if you have any scheduled text messages, which is another cool feature, uh, you could see your scheduled uh, messages. So for example, I see this message here that goes out from the booking appointment, but there's uh, messages you could create where you could do a follow-up scheduled message as well, okay? So that's the inbox, pretty simple. So the last part here is the sales pipeline. It's basically the same filtering system that we have in the leads page. But what this does, it organizes the leads for you based on categories. So you can create the filtering just like you would from the leads page, but it'll save it so you're able to call your leads by priority. So if you look here, I have a bucket here called new leads not called, week one with no response, week two with no response, week three plus with no response. Or if you tag a lead, 
as interested, then it automatically goes in this specific bucket. So that's the great part about this is you could probably work your leads from left to right. And you know that as soon as you're coming in, you're calling the one that are not called first, and then you go to the one that's been in the system for a week, so on and so forth. Now, the way it works here is when you hit start dialing, the software asks you how many times do you want to call the lead? Now, in this case, this is just a single dial, but some folks double dial or triple dial, then you'll bring this up to three. Then when I hit got it, it'll call this lead three times. Now, the way it moves on to the next call is either when you hang up or drop a pre-recorded voicemail. If someone answers on a second time, you can just skip to the next lead and then it'll move on down the list. If you were to take a break or went on vacation, et cetera, then there's a point here where it could ask you to resume dial. So you'll see a bookmark where you resume dial. It'll continue from that next lead or it could start over from the beginning. But we have more details on this inside of our trainings, but this is basically how the sales pipeline works. Overall, you have your dashboard, your leads, your inbox, and the sales pipeline. This is where you'll be on a daily basis for your prospecting. And then you have the marketing where the automation happens. Everything else is pretty set it and forget it. You have your Google calendar that you'll sync here. You have your reporting that you could track for, on a daily basis for yourself or your, for your team. This is the phone section. This is where you could purchase your phone numbers. You could purchase by state or area code. These numbers are a dollar per phone number per month. They are exclusive to you, so they're not shared or pooled. So what this does is helps uh, uh, keep the uh, risk of showing up as spam risk or spam likely pretty low. And then uh, you have the opportunity to track your carrier violations as well if you have any issues with your phone numbers, okay? Then you have your lead vendors. You can add different lead vendors in here. We have instructions on how to do that. Then your marketing, we went over it already. And then right here, you have the support. So with support, you can contact it via email, phone. And then right now, seven days a week, but I think in a few weeks, it's going to be Monday through Saturday. And then we do have a live chat feature on our webpage as well, okay? Now you have FAQ. So any questions you have, you can either search it here or scroll through and look at the drop down for the answer. And then you have training videos, extremely important. The reason why I didn't go into too much details with these, because we do have on-demand videos that you could watch for every feature that's in the software. And right here, it's feedback. We are literally built off of this box right here. So whether you're having a good or bad experience, we do want to hear about it. Or if you have a feature that you'd like to see in the software, our engineers are consistently watching this so we can continue to improve the software. So this is where you would go ahead and put that information in. Okay. So basically that's ringing in a nutshell. All right. So now let's go over pricing. Now the software will give you a two-week free trial. And then after the two weeks, it's only $109 a month, all right? So that includes all of the features that I went over. So it's going to be the voice over IP, the local IDs, the campaigns, agent coaching, et cetera. And then also what we do, we give you a thousand voice minutes and a thousand text messages every month, all right? And whatever you don't use gets rolled over to the next month. So they never go to waste, all right? So that's for outbound. Now, inbound is completely free. So you get unlimited inbound calls, unlimited text. Someone responds to one of your text messages, that's free. Someone call you back, that's all free. If you're working with a lead vendor that's sending you live transfers, all of that's going to be free to you as well, no matter how long that call is on the inbound, all right? You also get free unlimited video meetings. So that's gonna be, that's our version of Zoom again. And then you have the phone numbers, which is exclusive to you, a dollar per phone number per month. Now let's assume you went over your minutes, right? For texting or calling. Then it's only a penny per text or penny per outbound uh, phone minute at that point, right? So usually when agents, if they do go over that amount, they're usually making sales. The question is how many sales do you need to cover the 109 a month? So usually your return on investment, it's pretty good. Email, fraction of a penny, you send out a thousand emails, it's only a dollar, right? So we really focus more on the texting and the outbound minutes when it comes to that cost, all right? Now, the main thing here is this 109 a month does not matter. We don't care about this now. The goal here is to make sure you like the software. This is why you can try it out two weeks free um, with no risk or anything on your end. If you like it, great. You'll continue with the 109 a month. If not, we part ways as friends. But here's the great news. If you decided to take a break or just don't want to use us for now, everything that was set up in your account as far as the campaigns, the text messages will always be there. Um, if you ever change your mind and want to come back in the future, you simply log in, continue your subscription, and it'll all be there. Okay. So I'll show you how to sign up here. So simply what you'll do is you'll go to sign up. Now, depending if you click on a link or not, let's say if you went directly to ringy.com, 
You simply put in your name. You put in a phone number. And this is important. So we do have specific uh, campaigns for certain companies. So whether you're with FFL, Farmers, Real Financial, Annuity Agents, you want to put a company name in here. That way we can make sure we get the right templates to you. We will have customer service reach out to you as well, just to double check and make sure, okay? And then you'll put in how long you've been in your industry, continue. Once again, if you use the link that's in this video or the link that I send you, you won't see setup code. But if you do see this here, all you simply do is put in my name, R-O-B-I-N-S, put in Robbins. And what this does, once you sign up with your email and password, it allows me to be your account manager. You get to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So this is not only an upfront sales, this is where I, I continuously reach out to my clients on a regular basis. You can reach out to me seven days a week. I do use the mobile app. So my clients reach out to me on a regular basis. So if you guys need any help, you need any one-on-one -on -one and you can't contact support, that'll give you the opportunity to do that with me, okay? So if you see setup code, you'll put in Robbins. If you don't see a setup code, most likely it's already um, in there from the link that I gave you. But that's how you will start your initial free trial. Happy selling. Hope you guys enjoy my presentation.